on the power line. I'm your host Falcon Blaze, and today I have a dark irregular Shahara profile for you. So let's begin. So for my starter, I have Terrain Singular. I still like Terrain Singular a lot. It sucks in everything when you stride, and then you draw two cards. If you haven't, if you haven't been calling units for some reason. It's more or less a free plus one, but even if you suck things in, your soul is your second hand, so there's no downside to that. We also run one copy of the new starter, Waxum Vampire. Uh, this card lets you toolbox even more with your soul if you really need to toolbox, but usually it's just there as an extra option. For the trigger lineup, we have or monochrome nightmare stands. Still a really good card for the deck. Four Dark Knight of Nightmare crits. Just easy to throw into soul. Four Shahara crits. And four of the new heal. But it's always nice to be able to counter charge or soul charge. Then, for Grade 1s, we run 4 of the new Perfect Guard, very good for Shaharid. It's easy to get this back to your hand, just Counter Blast 1 and bind a copy of this into Grave. Or, or, drop or Soul. Or Soul, which is even better. I'm trying out 3 copies of Were Tiger Plunderer. If it's dark to effect during your turn, if your Vanguard has Shahar, which it will, it gets plus 1,000 for each card in your soul. So it's a very nice beat stick or a very good booster, depending on what you need. One copy of the original Stride Enabler, just to have as an extra way to stride. Four copies of Were Tiger Jaeger, because Were Tiger Jaeger is so good. You soul charge it, counter blast one draw. You use it for stride, as long as you have two or more cards with darkness in your soul, which is your entire deck. It's a really, really good card. Now for grade twos, we have four copies of Succubus of Jealousy. When you place it on rear guard, if you have a Vanguard with darkness ability, which should be always, Look at the top five cards, and then you could put two grade one or greater units with darkness into your soul. So a great way to fuel your soul, great way to get more units to toolbox later. And then it has a play power up plus 2k for darkness. Next we have four copies of Baleful Repressor. It's just a better Silent Tom. For GB2 Darkness, it gets plus 10k. So that's a 19k Silent Tom. Not really much more to say there, just very good. We got two copies of Covetous Succubus, because it does give you extra cards to your hand. And as the game progresses, it ends up being a free, free card to play, because it will counter charge its own cost. And we have two copies of Demonted Executioner because he's still a very good card on place. To the rear guard circle, you look at the top seven cards for a darkness card and put it right into your soul. Then for Counter Blast 1 Darkness, it does get some extra power, but you really use it for the searching effect. Then for your grade threes, I have four of the new Shahara, just an incredible, incredible card for the deck. You soul charge two when you stride, and then you get to trade one card in your hand for something in your soul. They just have to have the card in your hand just has to have darkness. So it lets you toolbox anything in your soul. And then as a darkness effect, at the end of your turn, you get to retire one of your opponent's units and counter charge one. She was paid $130,000 days before the election. You just have to 
put a grade one into your soul from your rear. But that's grade one. Or, so choose one of your rear guards that's grade one or greater and goes into soul, which is a very good cost for counter charge one and retire. And I run four of the second Shahar. Because it's so a great rear guard attacker, has power, has guard restrict. It can be a backup ride if you don't ride the other one. But in all honesty, I would like to replace two with two of the new grade three. What's the name of the new grade three? Gas steel. There we go. Gas steel. Gas steel is a great card to tech in. Because it also helps toolbox your entire soul. So it can copy Bale for Repressor and be a 21k Silent Tom. But that, that's a change for the future. Now, the stride lineup, we have two copies of Freyheit. They're kind of just there to fill up space. You really will never find a need to stride into this. Four copies of Blam. Blam is just such a great, great card. It adds guard restrict to your front. It also gives itself power. So it prevents your opponent from calling great ones from your their hand for the entire turn. So I mean, no perfect guards. Couple with your Baleful Repressor, your other Shaharid, or Gastiel if it's copying Baleful Repressor. That means they can only guard with zeros, well, with G Guardians and twos, honestly. So just a great, great effect. Four copies of Brother Mouse because it's still a restanding stride and it helps put all the triggers that you've soul charged back into your deck. Worst card ever. Just lets you drive check even more triggers to finish off the game. One copy of the Shaharit stride, mostly to have the option, but also because it just looks very nice. A lot of mouse. I have a feeling I know what little comments going to be in all the videos is. What GBA? Where's the ZR? <laughs> <laughs> one, gen one GB8, because it does add a lot of power and critical for your entire front row, if you happen to get that far. But usually the game ends before you get to GB8. And for G Guardians, two of these, Agrat Bat Malat, because it's probably still the best G Guardian. It lets you recycle two, two cards, and yeah, the soul charges. One Saint Germain, because it can't protect your entire field, giving them all resist. And one of the new G Guardians. That one's okay. I still would probably use the others over this one, but it's always good to have the option. And yeah, that's my Shahar deck profile. If you have any comments, just feel free to leave them below and like, comment, subscribe. Where's dust?